Well, for more on this, we're being joined by international affairs expert Paul Ejimi. Paul, it's so good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. So there is fire on the mountain in Chad. Rebels are advancing on the capital. What can be done to stop more bloodshed? Well, it comes into, you talk about the short term and then the long term. The short term will be for uh, get the rebels to at least uh, cease fire. So there can be some... Um, negotiations and um, you know uh, so that lives can return and then the, to decide what what can happen the longer term will be to look at what has become the perennial causes of these issues uh, insecurity ethnic um, you know divide and then um, poverty unemployment and the fact that even though a child is rich in, in oil and other uh, uh, you know resources it is not uh, you know, uh, it hasn't come down to the, to the, it hasn't affected positively the lives of um, uh, Chad's uh, 16 million or so uh, people. Instead, um, uh, it benefits the colonial master, uh, France, which is, you know, has the oil companies um, that are exploiting that oil. And then they are also using, well, bless his soul, debut that has just gone. He was propping himself. He became, he was, uh, uh, became a ma uh, field marshal in the army. And they were using much of uh, the, 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 the revenue to buy arms. You know, defense budget was so excessive, uh, more than $4 billion um, uh, for a country that has uh, just uh, 33,000 um, uh, strong uh, armed forces. But you see, he was um, enjoying, that is Debbie now, was enjoying the support of uh, France and then the other Western powers, US um, and EU countries. So that is where, it, and th this is what is happening, that Chad is rich, but um, its wealth is not uh, being felt by the ordinary uh, uh, Chadians. And so you have a rebel that are fighting from, um, uh, uh, you know, the north. Okay. Uh, close to, uh, to, to Libya. Let me come in here. Yes. So you, you talked about uh, the reason why France is supporting the military takeover, because that was going to be my next question. I was going to ask you, what do you make of France, uh, you know, defending the military takeover? Is it more than what meets the eye, or is it just because of, like you said, the investment, their investment in Chad? Are they trying to actually support, you know, security in the nation? That is the hypocrisy of um, some Western powers. How can you be supporting a coup military takeover in one breath and then condemning it in other? You know that Mali had uh, some military takeover in um, um, uh, August last year, and everybody came on them. There was a uh, suspension and and whatever. But apart from France too, the AU and even Nigeria that has issued a statement. Everybody seems to be saying, well, it's okay to, to do this. But there are principles of zero tolerance for uh, seizure of power through unconstitutional means. And from what is happening, a, 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 a military council taking over, this is a military coup d'etat and should never be, be allowed. So on until, you know, there is a strong uh, uh, resentment and... Um, you, you know, the, what is it? Denial and rejection of this type of uh, uh, hypocrisy. Africa is not moving anywhere. All so right. for France, perhaps it will help, it will help them. Um, uh, President Macron is going there tomorrow, maybe to negotiate and talk. But that is the reason there hasn't been peace so I was in Africa. I was, going to talk, I, was go I was going to talk about that. World leaders are beginning to arrive for Idris Deby's funeral. Emmanuel Macron, like you just mentioned, is expected in town on Friday. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. as rebels are warning them not to come, you know, for their own security. Uh, would you say it's a bit reckless on the part of the leaders uh, for attending, even when they've been warned not to? Or is it doom for the rebels because um, of a co coalition of uh, security forces? No, I think the rebels will not be helping their case if they attacked any, any foreign leader. Uh, they will, I think they have even heard that they said they will, you know, there will be um, a measure of uh, ceasefire before, you know, for the um, funeral. I think they should pay respect to a fallen leader. 
And so um, I don't think they will they will go all out because it will not help their matter. They should they will want to put themselves in a position that they can negotiate. Listen, they are asking for uh, inclusivity. They are asking for justice. And so if that is the case, they can talk about it. One day it's not um, will not be too much to sacrifice, and then after that they can resume whatever uh, uh, grievances they are pursuing. But I don't think they will they will be too uh, irresponsible to um, uh, maybe shoot down the the, the the plane of any of the visiting leaders. So uh, that is um, what that was that is the expectation. But that it, that it is just um, postponing the evil day because after that, where does uh, the, the the young man, 37 year old uh, Muhammad, that has been now been put to take over from his father? Does he will he does he have what it takes? Will he fit into the big uh, boot of uh, of his father? That is another issue. And how long will France France be able to continue to prop regimes in Africa instead of leaving Africa to grow? There is independence, live independence, political independence, economic independence. That is the only lasting solution uh, to all these uh, uh, issues. So yeah, that no Africans fine. they can make mistakes and then correct them. Uh, uh, the, uh, democracy is, um, everybody is learning. Even America is learning. True, so, Paul. But they are confused because they have an um, ulterior motive. They True. have an uh, interest Corrections. That they are pursuing. Corrections must, mistakes must be corrected. Absolutely, I agree. And then you talked about the ceasefire earlier on. Well, it was short-lived as the rebels called off the ceasefire. But that's the much we can take. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on uh, the news tonight. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.